Hey guys, I'm back with another installment for my Blush For Us series. As I check to see, is my microphone on? Um, you guys know that I kind of slack at these videos occasionally. I always use these for my last resort videos. I don't know why, but I think these videos are really helpful for you girls that are looking for the perfect tone blushes that work for, um women of color um, because I know I have a hard time finding blushes and I just wanted to do this series because I wanted to discover some really nice blushes for you ladies and um, I know a lot of you value my opinion so I just wanted to share a few blood uh, share a few blushes with you guys today that I thought would look really nice for deeper complexions so these blushes I'm gonna be talking about today are the Mayron blushes you can find these on um, the Mayron website, um, any theatrical website, um, Camera Ready Cosmetics, I think, or Camera Ready, or something like that. Also, you can find them on um, Makeup Mania, too, the same place where you find the La, F the La Femme blushes at. Um, so, Mayron is just a stage... Uh, makeup company but they also make beauty products for everyday use and these blushes are from that line and these are the cheek powders and I have five colors the first one is going to be in just peachy and this is just a nice peachy color and you guys I know you're like um this is this looks extremely too light or it's going to come off too ashy like for instance I bought some drugstore blushes and the color came out like this. It looked just like this, but once swatched, it looked very, very, very um, ashy and very, very sheer. But here, this is the color payoff that we have. Like, boom, in your face. And the consistency, they do crumble when you um, get into them, but once you um, apply them, swatch them, or whatever, they turn into almost like a cream consistency so these are very very nice and I believe they retail for about five to eight bucks I'll put it down here so you guys can see because I don't know offhand but here is the peachy one and you guys this looks amazing the color payoff is amazing that's why I wanted to show you guys these because this one looks it doesn't look that bright but once swatched you get like an eyeful as you guys can tell Next is going to be the color Rosewood. This is going to be just kind of like an everyday color. This is going to be kind of like a rosy, um, peachy, pinky color. And let's swatch it. So here you go. And boom. Look at that. This color would be really nice for an everyday type of look just a neutral look I really like this color and the next color I'm about to show you guys for a neutral everyday look because you can like use a light hand on these I mind you use a light hand on these because they can get really like boom in your face but um here's the color and again it's in rosewood Sorry, I'm wiping my fingers off so I can get these swatches. The next one is in Tropic Coral. No, Tropic. Yes, Tropic Coral. And this is a, like it says, a corally, peachy, nudie color. Let's swatch it. It doesn't look like it's going to be much, but as you can see, this is what it looks like. And here it is. This really goes on really nice and it works great for an everyday look. It's not too like wow in your face. I mean you can also use the brighter colors too. But just always remember when you're using brighter colors that have a lot of great pigmentation payoff. You might want to use a light hand okay. Alright so the next color which you guys are going to be like oh my gosh. It's in the color bold red. That's right. You have and the camera isn't doing it any justice at all. It almost looks orange. Right there is the true color. Like right there. If I turn it away from my light, you guys can see it. Okay. Oh my God. Look at that. 
Okay, whoops. That is a bright ass red right there. So this you really have to like use the lightest hand possible or you will come out looking like a clown. Mind you, this is stage makeup, so I wasn't expecting them to be, you know, um, sheer or anything by any means. So, just remember that. But here is the color. And again, it's in a bold red. And the last color that I have is in the color Wineberry. I love wine and berry and purple and colors like this this is more like almost like a fuchsia pink color which will which pinch look pinch <laughs> which purple and berry and wine colors really complement um, women of color and here's that color it almost looks more of a magenta pink than a wine color but that's it and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Blush For Us. And let me know if you guys um, want to see a specific brand for Blush For Us. Whether it's Elf, MAC, um, some brands from Sephora, Ulta, whatever it is. Let me know in the um, comments section below and I will be sure to get that video up for you guys. Um, I wanted to try and do these videos every week, so I'm probably going to do them instead every other week because I always have other videos that I need to film first. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, love you guys. Bye.